Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Melissa and I are very happy to be bringing you some new content here today as we try to remedy some of the issues that we are now apparently experiencing in our tiny home bathroom. Shark bites. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we need to uh, fix or remedy or redo or redo from our last water line plumbing video here in our bathroom because we have experienced that there are a lot of you out there with far more knowledge than we have when it comes to these things. And we were warned repeatedly, repeatedly, not <laughs> to go with the shark bite fittings yeah. that we use to replace some of the PEX uh, crimp rings. Yes. So we're going to defer to those of you who have more knowledge and experience than we do. Yes. Thank you guys. Take your word for it. And we are going to uh, make those fixes. Before we head on inside to get some work done on the day, we thought we'd uh, take you real quickly through some of the decor that we got put up on the walls because Melissa is super excited about her signage everywhere. I signs, signs, that. everywhere, signs. The signs are everywhere. So this is Jeremy's new work area. And also there are some officers that have been sending Jeremy patches from different departments, which is really fun. We've gotten three of them and we've just been putting them up on these tack boards. So yeah, so we got Nye County out of the state of Nevada. We got Cody, Wyoming. Cody, Wyoming. We have my old departments. We got a Honolulu police patch there. Yeah, pretty really neat. cool. Yeah, so obviously as a now former law enforcement family, we uh, greatly appreciate those of you who are still out there serving day and night to keep the rest of us safe. Yep. Um, greatly appreciate those patches that you guys sent in. And I want to encourage anyone else out there, if you happen to be in law enforcement yourself, past or present, and you'd like to get us a patch to stick up here on the wall, I will proudly display it, show it, and uh, represent your agency. So yeah, for sure. Hit us up. Okay. All right, back to the signs. What else we got? Back to the signs. So I've got my, my laundry co sign. Jeremy thinks this is ridiculous, but I think it's cute. It was in my old laundry room, so I want it in my new laundry room. And then, of course, welcome to the farmhouse. So here we are. We have uh, made our way into our tiny home bathroom. And as you can see, we've already removed all, but with a couple exceptions. Uh, we removed the shark bite fittings that we had put on there a couple videos back. Fortunately, this wasn't a, a huge issue. These fittings come off very easily using the little tool that I also purchased when I bought the fittings. So it was like, what, 10 or 15 minutes to get these things off? Yeah. Not, not the end of the world. Uh, not a big deal. So we'll uh, pick up where we left off with getting our crimp rings put back on. And like I said, we will be redoing our redo. I ain't gonna live forever. I just wanna... You just wanna what? Oh. Now, this ain't a song for the broken hearted. Bow, wow, bow. Beldar sensor rings! What? I need more rings, please. <gasps> Crimp rings, not sensor rings. Beldar. Here you go, Frodo. My precious. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> off already. <laughs> pick up my pencil really quick um there we go we got everything swapped out we got our crimp, crimp rings put back on all of our pets everything has been replaced seems like it's doing okay again i'm deferring to all you guys who told us hey get rid of those shark bites so we will retest these lines and hopefully everything holds up for the, the long run the long term navelle where are you going what are you doing what dishes, dishes. check out navelle souza on uh, youtube Doing dishes. <laughs> <laughs> she is doing dishes. How do you do the dishes? We're still having to do dishes in a trailer, huh? 
Why is that? We don't have, I don't know, we don't have water. We don't have hot water or running water as of yet. Despite the fact that Novea has her own channel on YouTube, she actually does not enjoy being on our videos for whatever reason. Who doesn't want to be on their parents' YouTube videos? I don't know, because I feel like we're super cool and she feels like we're not. Makes us sad inside. She poked your heart. With everything got that ceiling done I'm done with everything except for this back wall this back wall is where our dryer our washer and then our hot water tank are going to go so this needs some six inch insulation this is the outside wall the most important wall so we are going to get this stuff hooked up well at least the hot water tank hooked up and then we will get the wall insulated That's a specimen right there. Oh, I look nice. You do. You like the gray sweatpants? Yeah. When coupled with the black hoodie? Turn around. Saggy bottom? Is that what you're <laughs> There's a hole in the bottom. You're looking for a saggy bottom? There's a hole. <laughs> Listen, we're all about high fashion here at uh, Good Simple Living. Nobody likes a soggy bottom, Jeremy. High fashion. <laughs> Since we are in here working on the hot water tank, we're going to work on the washer outlet box as well. We really want to get everything on this wall so we can insulate it before the cold temperatures come. So we're just kind of doing what we can today. See horrible, what we get done. Horrible lighting. I think you look like muy like goat man. <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's that's cold. I'm no oh my god! Just hook up the washer so I don't have to do outdoor laundry this week. <laughs> Seriously, I haven't been procrastinating doing laundry or anything. <laughs> I don't want to go out there. I need to get it hooked up inside. All right, Melissa and I just had a great old time here getting this washing machine outlet box mounted to our utility room slash closet wall for old Bessie. So uh, we need to work on getting the drain installed. We haven't done that as of yet, obviously, but we do have our cold and our hot water now plumbed to the wall. With this completed, we are now going to turn our attention to getting the hot water heater connected. We have to make a transition in there from three quarter inch fittings to half inch since we are using half inch picks and we are actually using a shark bite product to do that. Mm, for shame. Sorry, y'all. So this is our flexible inlet line. It's going to be hooked up to the cold water connection. Again, we are using a shark bite product and we felt as though it was okay to actually go with shark bite products out here since a lot of you told us that, hey, in an application where it isn't actually concealed behind a wall, you're probably okay with doing so. So that's what we're going with. This should be too complex of a connection to make. It basically just gets uh, threaded on there on the one side 
threaded connection and then um, making that transition from the three quarter inch pecs to the half inch we're going to be using the shark bite and we'll throw an elbow in there and make it look nice and pretty up on the wall Jeremy, what happened? Uh, Jeremy, what happened? Here, I'll explain to the fine people. <laughs> so, Jeremy cut this piece too short, and so he needed to cut another piece. So he brought the too short piece over, and he used it as a stencil <laughs> to cut the next, <laughs> the new piece. I believe they call that a brain fart, Melissa. <laughs> I hear that in the industry they call that a brain fart. Mama, I know I've said it before, but let's say it again is the moment of truth. The moment of Part truth. Two. Part two. We're gonna two. flip on and open all of our valves, get water flowing through the system, and hopefully, no leaks. Okay, we're about to turn the water on for the second time and see if all of our clamp rings worked. So Kamali's gonna be here underneath the sink, making sure those don't leak. Nivea is going to be out in the laundry room. I will be in the bathroom. Jeremy will be by the main shutoff switch. So if we holler at him, he knows to turn them off. Yep, ready in here. Now. No cold water leaks. Yeah, no cold water leaks. I think, or do you want to flip on the valve for the water heater and then we'll test the hot water in a bit? Yep. Here, let that do its thing. All right, it's been about, what, an hour or two? Yeah, probably two hours. We have let the hot water heater run. Let's see what we got. Hey, that's one step closer. One step closer. You think the whole thing would just fall through if I sat in it? Yeah, probably. Don't do that. Okay. No promises. Now that we know our hot water is up and running and looking good, we are going to install the drain for old Bessie. You have no idea how exciting this is. I've been doing outdoor laundry for six months, which I realize beats an old wash pan and the river, but it still gets old dragging everything out there and then you know, hanging everything up and all that. So to have indoor washing and drying machine is such a beautiful thing. I'm so excited. It feels like Christmas. Jeremy gets the drill all ready to do that drain hole. I wanna talk about my snack choice of the day. It's not my snack belt choice of the day because as I stated on the last video, our pregnant cat decided to vomit inside my snack belt. She could have vomited anywhere on this 20 acres, but she chose my snack belt in the pocket. So I don't know that I'll ever eat out of that thing again. However, I have pockets now because it's winter, so uh, snack belt choice of the day, the pocket Pringle. It's this perfect little Pringle container. It's really not enough chips, but it'll hold me over for about five minutes and it fits in my pockets. Pocket Pringles. Hey, where are you been? I've been looking for you now and then 
someone just like you who can make me feel the way you do cause if I'm the ocean you're the rain we only need each other baby you know we're the same let's run run away all I need is you now and always you and me you and me we don't need no one else than each other you and me you and me we could run run away you and me together baby we don't gotta stay So we ran our first test of our drain line from our washing machine outlet box. We had a minor little leak, <laughs> wasn't a big deal. We were actually yeah. able to take um, that portion of the pipe apart and then readdress it with some ABS glue. And I'm confident that once we test it, um, this next go around, that will be perfectly fine. Yeah, so we do need to wait for that glue to dry before we test it again. So we're gonna divide and conquer right now. Jeremy's gonna go and continue backfilling the drain in because the ground is about to freeze and that's gonna make his job three times as hard if that happens. And I'm gonna go back into our bathroom and start getting all the insulation back behind those pipes. It's a race against the weather. Let's it go. is. We could go crazy and leave it all behind. I'm taking a break from insulating because I actually get to cook inside the tiny home on the new stove. So I got my new stove and we're probably just going to sit around, make some soups, eat some bread, eat some desserts, just sit around and get all fat and sassy. <laughs> Oh, well, Bessie's a collector's item. So call of quality sounds like right there. <laughs> well, you know, she was screwed together. First load of laundry in the new laundry room.
it's so weird how like random everyday things like washing your clothes in a washing machine have become such enamoring moments super exciting you sit there and gaze in amazement well when you lose the convenience of a washer and dryer or a washer and dryer indoors it's really exciting to yeah. just get that convenience super back cool. no more dumping jugs of water in yeah your, dragging you through the mud on a hand truck or using a hose to fill it stepping through a muddy puddle to get it afterward because it's all drained right at the bottom of yeah the actual washing machine yeah, just to be able to do this, not have to refill it, be able to pop it into a dryer, have our towels not come out crunchy, be able to wash with hot water. All this stuff is really, really exciting. It's just Huge. one more little step of normalcy that it's we're like normal getting life. back. Yes. Almost like normal life. Look at that. So with things being somewhat dialed in now inside of our barn, as far as water goes, we thought we'd take you guys back into our pump house, which is now pretty much completed, right? Yeah, it is. We got everything inside done. Yeah, our whole water system was was installed. It's something, again, that we weren't necessarily real comfortable with doing ourselves. Plus, yeah. we got warranty issues and all that coming that come into play as well. So, yep. yeah, we had somebody from our local Mennonite community here come by and install everything. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that meant that we needed to be respectful of him and their uh, wishes to remain off camera because of their just religious personal standings, religious so. beliefs. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, we'll take you inside now and show you what it is we got done. Okay. So welcome to our pump house. We had all of these components installed because like I said, we need to have the warranty on this, specifically this piece here, and it needed to be professionally installed to do that. This was a pricey little piece, so we wanted to make sure we had a warranty on it. So we'll start from over here. We have our inch and a half main water line that comes out from our well. This is going to feed our garden orchard space, our future home, and our tiny home inside the barn. So we have obviously our unbuilt house turned off and our garden and orchard. The garden and orchard is the only one that is going to be unfiltered because it's just not necessary for trees and vegetables. Our tiny home and our house are going to be running through the pressure tank, which has a pressure gauge on it as pressure well. switch pressure switch switch at what 50 50 psi all right correct correct then the water for the house and the tiny home are running through this iron specific water filter it is fed with granulated salt in this salt basin here it's a little low it should be at at least half so we need to add a couple of eggs of salt to that but uh specifically what this does is pull iron out of the water we had our water tested and it's very high in calcium and iron which not only makes the water orange and stains everything but it's also really hard on your pipes and like if you have a dishwasher or anything like that that's really it, bad for your plants yeah it fry will your fry them like within a year so it we had to get this unfortunately it was expensive but it was necessary and it makes our water drinkable right out of the well so we're excited about it so in order to keep our pump house warm, we also have a wall-mounted thermostat controlled heater. If our building gets below 40 degrees, this sucker kicks on and it warms everything inside up. And then we also have heat cable on our incoming and outgoing lines. So same thing, it's thermostat controlled and it's got a little a monitor on it that actually sits on the pipe. If it goes below freezing, that heats up and it will heat the line down to about three feet. <laughs> <laughs> Hola. <laughs> so there you go guys that is a quick little tour of what it is that we've done and had done in our little pump house shed that melissa and i've been working on for quite a while now and it's still not done we're almost there <laughs> we're we just almost need some siding there. we'll figure it out yeah yeah the siding's going to kind of depend on what we decide to do with the house we'd like the buildings to either match or we just need lumber prices to come down because it's expensive so you might see it looking <laughs> like a Christmas present for a little bit. Yeah, so North Idaho siding is... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. So we got the water components all figured out. So pretty soon, Jeremy will not have to haul water anymore. And you're going to lose your big muscles. Right. <laughs> so our goal out here was always to do solar first, grid backup, generator backup system. We were not able to get the full solar system hooked up in time for winter and it is getting cold and we need to make sure that we're taking care of all these new water components and of course our family. So we ended up running grid and then doing a generator backup for winter and then in the spring we'll be re-exploring getting a full solar system in. Hopefully we can go solar first, grid yeah. backup. We like having a number of options again for us it's just about viability and sustainability mm -hmm. here and we want to make sure that we never go without yep. um which is part of the reason we have things like this hand pump for our water so in case we do <laughs> lose our grid power or yeah. uh, we aren't able to get fuel for generators we can still access things like our water right. so yeah we like to have options and we weren't able to accomplish everything it is that we originally wanted to get done this year but 
we've kind of had a lot of on our plate. Um, yeah. <laughs> we've, we've been busy and we've been, honestly, we've been spending a lot of money with getting all this stuff done. So yes. <laughs> to do the combination that we are hoping to eventually yeah. have completed just didn't uh, pan out, unfortunately, this year. And now we're going to winter. So that kind of pushes us back until next spring. But it's okay. It is what it is. Yeah, it's okay. Um, so we will get it done. So as we develop this property, we're not only thinking about what's good for our family now, but we're trying to think about what's going to be good for them in the future. So we do have four kids and we do hope that they can build here. We bought in this county for that specific reason that if they choose to, they can build here. So having this massive well at 100 gallons per minute will be enough water to provide it for everyone. But we also want to make sure that we have all the necessary other building blocks to set them on the right path for building their own lives here if they choose. Indeed. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. <laughs> Melissa's freezing. I need to take her back inside to get warmed up by the wood stove. Yeah. Uh, lay her down by the fire. Okay. Okay. <laughs> As always, we greatly appreciate you watching. Thanks so much for spending a little bit of time with us here today. Uh, we will see you on the next video. Be blessed. Until then, take care, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. See you next time.